Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to receive inventory with a bill. So we're going to assume that the inventory has arrived and there was a uh, bill or a copy of the purchase order attached. So we're receiving inventory from one of our vendors. So then we will be going to the vendor center. We're in our sample file here. So if from the vendor center we're going to click on receive inventory. You'll see that we have two choices. One is to receive inventory with a bill and one is to receive it without. So we're going to click on with a bill and then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose the um, vendor that we're, that we're receiving the inventory from. So in this case we're going to receive inventory from CU Electrical Supply. Um, so there's a few things that we need to do. So we choose the vendor first and then we check the date. So we want to make sure that we're receiving the date, uh, the receiving the inventory on the proper date. The reason the date is important is because any discount that we have coming to us from, from the vendor um, will start on the day that the inventory is received. So, um, so it is important to make sure that you've got the proper date. Then we click into the reference number. If there's an invoice number uh, with the bill, then you would type it in here. So type the uh, reference number in there. We don't put anything in the amount due box. Uh, QuickBooks will populate that as we, um, as we fill in the items. Um, so from CU Electrical Supply, we're going to receive a table lamp. So we've purchased a, um, a Tiffany table lamp and we received eight of them. So we received eight and they were at 85, 95 each. So we're going to update the price simply by typing over top of what was there. Now it's important to check the cost, the price as we're entering inventory um, because the price that will show up is the price that we currently have in our inventory list. But we're not always purchasing inventory at the same price. Our vendors often supply inventory at sale prices, discount prices, and so on. So as we're receiving it, it's important to make sure that we um, enter in the proper cost amount. Uh, and then when we press tab to move past, we will get a dialog box that shows that just tells us that we've changed the cost for that table lamp and did we want to update the item with the new cost. We're going to click yes when we see those messages um, and then that um, will update the, the cost in our item list. We'll know then the cost that we paid the last time we pur purchased that particular item. So we've purchased eight Tiffany lamps. Uh, the total amount drops in there. It automatically enters the HST that's due and then puts the total amount due up at the top of the form. Um, so we would continue, we would click down if we had more items to receive, we would click down into each of those rows, choose the items, uh, type in the amount if it's different uh, until the, uh, the bill was complete. In this particular case, that's the only item that we're going to receive, so we're just going to double check everything, make sure you've got the right vendor name, make sure you've changed the date, you've typed in the reference number, and you've listed the items that you've received correctly, checking the costs that you've received them at. When all of those things are done and you're satisfied with your form, then just click Save and Close. You will get this message when we're working on our sample files because we're working with files that have um, older dates. So it's just telling us that if we modify this now, it could affect our reports, especially uh, to the government. Um, but we're just using this as a training file, so we're just going to click yes that we do want to make sure that we make this change. And that's all there is to receiving inventory with a bill.